Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the page size in a PowerPoint presentation. Then we're going to add a custom background image to a uh, common page. So, you know, for example, when you right mouse click and insert a new slide. Um, for this page that comes up every time you insert a new slide and also for a cover page. All right, step one, what we're going to do is click on, well, typically we're in the home menu. We're gonna to go to design, the design tab, click on page setup. Uh, and I'm just gonna do this 11 by 17 because it's a nice page size. It uh, fills the HD screen nicely. So 11 by 17, I wanna make sure it's in landscape mode, okay? And I'm gonna click okay. So there's our instant page size. Uh, it's different than what, what people will see from other people who turn in just a standard PowerPoint. So you always want to modify your change size or your uh, page size. Now for the next part of this, what I want to do is I want to insert a custom background. Um, before I do that though, I, I do like some of these templates that they have available. So I'm going to just kind of look at a couple. Yeah, I like the formatting here. Um, that one's very plain, okay? Very plain, but decent formatting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that one for now. And now what I'm going to do is insert a custom background. A couple ways you could do this. I mean, obviously, you can make your own background right here instead of using Illustrator or Photoshop. But if you have already have an image that you want to use, then uh, let's go this other route. Um, so the next step is to put the custom background. I'm going to click on View. Click on Slide Master. All right. This top slide is the main slide. So when you're in a PowerPoint presentation and you add a new slide, this is the slide that comes up each time. Uh, if you're in PowerPoint and you have a cover slide, this is the slide that will come up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the cover slide background. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to click on Insert. All right, so what I'm going to do here is there's a couple ways you could do this. One, you can click on insert and insert a picture and then choose whichever picture you want to do. So I'm going to do it this way for the cover. Click on this and insert it. It is not exactly the same size. Uh, for this image, it doesn't matter if I stretch it or skew it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a sidebar. If you want to keep the proportions of the photo, you can grab one of the corners and then stretch it and then do the same with the other corner so then you keep the um, the proportions exactly as they're supposed to be all right uh, now with this image uh, one of the things I want to do is um, I want to change it so it's a little more faded so I'm going to adjust the brightness okay uh, I'm also going to adjust the contrast so there's less contrast. Now, very important step. Make sure the photo is selected. Come up here to the formatting tools and click send to back. I need to delete these other pieces. So if this was a color you liked, you of course could delete that as well. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in here, stretch it over to the sides. Um, right mouse click. And I want a different color. I'm just going to do something relatively simple. There's another little line up here as well. Um, I don't think I need that line, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep this other one below, and I think we're good. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do with this one. Uh, there's a little, like, entry button. I'm going to click on this, change the color. Um, obviously not bright enough, so anyway, play with it until you get a color that you like. There we go. And then I want to make it a little more round. There we go. Okay, very good. Uh, so that's it for the cover page. Now I'm going to go to this page, and we're going to do an alternate method. So with this first method, remember what we did is we went to insert, insert picture, 
Uh, we inserted the image. We sent the image to the back. We modified the image. So now it's just kind of a, a faded image. For this next page, what we're going to do is we're going to use another method. Um, on this one, what we're going to do is, um, let's see, right mouse click. Oops, sorry. Let me go to um, slide master page. Go to background styles and format background. Okay, so let me do that again. We're on the slide master tab, background styles, and we're going to format background. Now, with this format background, what we're going to do is I'm going to click on picture, and then I'm going to insert a picture from a file, same image. All right, it takes a second there to, to work. Um, Got to get rid of that texture still. There we go. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see. Now, so we have the image in place. Uh, I kind of like the outline effect and so on. Let's see what else we can do here. Um, on the picture, we could um, do all sorts of things. We could change the brightness and the contrast, just like we did on the other one. Um, or we could keep it full intensity. I'm just going to let you play with that. Uh, I'm going to hit uh, close. I don't want to apply to all because if I apply to all, that will change my cover page. All right, so there it is. Um, it's that easy to insert a, a custom is image. So once you've created an image in Illustrator or in um, uh, Photoshop or you have a photo, it's very easy to insert as a background. Now, uh, one other thing that we're going to do here, there's multiple types of pages. This is your standard page. Uh, let's say also on the standard page I want to do something interesting like put a custom logo. So on this page, now I am going to use the insert tool and I'm going to insert a picture and I'm going to choose this little beach chair. I'm going to insert it. Um, I'm going to put this beach chair in a common location, so it's in the same location on every page. All right, now that it's in the location I want, I want to, I do want to crop this image a little bit. It's, uh, it's got a little more information than I want. Okay and I'm going to reduce the size and I want to keep my proportions constrained so I'm going to use the corner um, handle okay put it right there and then if I wanted to put some text with this I certainly could um, actually grab a text tool put some text do whatever else I need to do here uh, so now what we have is we have um, a custom cover page and we have a custom um, standard page all we do then is click close master view Okay, and then here is our layout. All right, now if you wanted to change the uh, formatting for this text on every page, same thing. You click on view, click on master slide, or slide master, sorry. Um, click on the slide you want to modify, and then modify uh, each piece as necessary. So you actually could um, change the font style. If you don't like um, the way these levels are set up, you could change that as well. So um, there's a lot of variety, a lot of different things you can do with this program. All right, hope that helps and we will see you back in class.